Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take random numbers and change them into letters. It's pretty easy, so let's get started. So with this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a couple of things. It's how to build this number, see how it's kind of building up, and also how there's all the random numbers and how it transitions into letters. And it's a, there's a little bit of a trick you have to do in order to make that work from numbers to letters to make it so it stays numbers until it turns into the letters. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's start with a brand new composition. Numbers to letters. Okay, and let's get up a, just a new black solid for the background. I'll probably do a little bit with that later on. But let's get the text tool. And let's write a bunch of numbers. Now, before you write all your numbers, you want to know what you're going to transition it to. So in that example, After Effects, which has 13 letters, well, 12 letters plus a space, and so I need 13 numbers, and I want one for the space. So I'm just going to write a bunch of random numbers. Let's go ahead and center that. So I've got this Align Palette, and if you don't have the Align Palette in your windows, if you come up to Window, it's the first one right there, just align. Okay, now the first thing we want to do is we want to make these go random. And I have this set at 24 frames a second, and I'm going to need to know that for when I do this. So let's go into the text, and let's go to Animate. And right here it says Character Offset. I'm going to click on that. And what this does is, you can see it's changing all the numbers. But what I want to do is I'm going to add a little expression to this character offset. I'm going to hold down Option or Alt on the keyboard, click on the stopwatch. I'm going to write this expression, time times 24. And 24 because I'm at 24 frames a second. And what that's going to do is every single frame, it's going to randomly change all of these numbers. If I didn't do it times 24, let's say I just did time, then you can see I have to go through, it's going to switch it every second, which I don't want. So let's, again, times 24, and that looks pretty good. So the next is to build it on, and what you do for that is you add another animation, not the uh, offset, but we come in here to scale. And it's going to add another animator, so animator 2, and scale. I'm going to bring scale down to 0. And then let's go into the range selector. And let's bring the start all the way to the end. And the end all the way to 0. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the start that way, because I want it to build from right to left. So let's keyframe the start, go forward, and bring it down to zero. So the last keyframe, everything will be zeroed out. Now what I don't want is, I don't want this to look, you can see that one is small, and it's kind of scaling up. I want it to be, you know, gone, so 0% scale to 100% scale, immediately and you can do that if you come down to advanced and right here where it says smoothness I want to bring that down to zero and so it's going to just pop right on so that's the first part Now the second part is I need to then transition this into letters and this is where the trick comes in so I need to come into this first animator that I, I created which was the offset Remember, I put in this time times 24. And I'm going to come into this range selector here. Now, what happens is I go through this. You can see there's a little red line here and a little red line there. Let's zoom in a little bit. You can see those lines. And as that range selector goes across, it's going to transition from these random numbers to the original numbers I stuck in there. And so what I need to do is as this animates across, I need to con 
change the ink, the source text from this five to the word I'm spelling. And I'm going to spell it backwards because I, I like the look of it going from right to left. So let's first keyframe this range selector. So as it builds up, about right there, I'm going to keyframe the end. And I'm going to go, remember there's 13 spaces here. So let's just start off by going 13. So every single frame is going to be a new letter. So I'm just hitting page down on the keyboard and it progresses through the timeline one frame at a time. And let's bring that all the way to zero. Now it's time to pretty much frame by frame go in and change the source text on this. Now before you do, make sure you have your alignment the way you want it. So since I'm going right to left, I want everything to be aligned to the right. If I was going the other way, I'd want it aligned to the left. Otherwise, it's going to move around and look a little bit weird. So let's keyframe the source text. Go to the next, grab my text tool, and I start to spell this word backwards. And I'm just going one frame at a time. Okay, got them all done. It's a little bit tricky to try to spell things backwards, but it, uh, you get it. But what I want to do is I don't like the speed of this. It's transitioning a little bit too fast, and I want to um, slow it down a little bit. And so what to do that, I need to take this range selector under animator 1. Remember, this was for the offset. And then the source text, I'm going to take all of these and highlight them. I'm going to hold down Option or Alt on the keyboard, and then click on one of these keyframes at the end, and then just drag. And what that's going to do is it's going to keep everything proportional with each other. So now it's a little bit slower. I can bring that way down. Okay, I like that speed a little bit better. So let's take a look at the whole thing so far. Now, if I, I want to give a little bit more space in between when it builds on and then writes After Effects, I can just, again, highlight all of these keyframes and then just move them this time. Okay, so now this wouldn't... Now this is pretty good on its own, but let's go ahead and add a little bit to this background. So I'm going to just add a grid effect. So just generate grid, and I just did it right on that black solid. I'm going to change the blending mode to I'm going to change the blending mode to screen. Change this corner point, um, the size from, to width and height sliders. Let's go ahead and set this to 100 by 100. Maybe go in and change this color. And bring down the opacity. Maybe even give it a little bit of a feather. Another thing that kind of looks good with something like this is uh, let's add a new adjustment layer. And let's go in under Stylize and add a glow. And we can maybe add some glow to the, the text. And that's looking pretty good. You know, I might want to even go in and add a little bit of vignette so there's a more of a fall off or on the side so the, the grid doesn't go all the way to that side. So let's go to a one more adjustment layer. I'm going to switch my mask tool to ellipse. Double click on that. Go to effects color correction and exposure. Let's bring down the exposure. Then go into my mask. And I'm going to invert it. Then hit F on the keyboard. It brings up the mask feather. And I can feather that. Let's take a look at this. So quick and simple, but it's got a unique look. Another fun thing to do with this is just experiment with the fonts because you know not all fonts are going to work the same way. And uh, After Effects makes it really easy. You can just click on and just go right through the fonts. You find one that you like. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.
Dive into the text layers. There's a lot you can do in there. It's kind of like shape layers. There's a whole, you know, another world inside of a text layer with the animations and the and the uh, range selectors and things like that. So go ahead, check it out. See what you can do. See what you come up with. And thanks for watching. If you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We put out new videos every week, actually two of them every week. On Wednesdays we do quick tips, and on Fridays we do tutorials like this one where we kind of uh, dive in a little bit more. We talk a little bit more about After Effects, do a whole kind of a look instead of just a quick tip. Also make sure you check out my website, cinemaspice.net. I've got presets, I've got sound effects, and all sorts of different goodies. Um, some free, some for sale. So check it out. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.